What's up guys, it's your boy DJ Avionics back with another unboxing video. We're going to be unboxing my new Zion or Zion Weeble S gimbal and we're going to take a look at everything that comes with it and then we're going to be balancing my Canon EOS M50 camera on it with the Sigma 16, 16 millimeter 1.4 lens which is a beast. Alright, so let's go ahead and cut open the box. Okay, so we have this, what is this, just a Zion, Zion card. I don't know what the purpose of this is, but. All right, so let's see, we've got this envelope deal. We have Weeble S, quick start guide. We have our service card. And then we have um, our parts list, it looks like. Cool. Well, it comes with all that. Oh, these are just accessories. These are accessories and packages. Nice. Okay. Here we got some, well, you can tell that Zion takes the time to package their products. Nice. I thought this came with a case. I guess not. I guess not this package, but the styrofoam packaging is very nice. You know, being that we're spending all this money on a nice gimbal. All right, so let's start off with the batteries. We've got two lithium ion batteries. Go ahead and cut these open, not cut myself, not make them explode. Put those to the side. All right, this is our I guess it's our battery case. Oh, it's okay, so it's like a separate charger. Charge it away from your gimbal. It's got the USB-C port right here. We have, what is this? It's, I think, some kind of plate. We'll get into it here in a little bit. Here is our tripod handle and legs. Screw mount. Here's our base plate. What's in this little box here? Oh, USB cables. All the USB cables to adapt to any situation you're plugging into. We've got our Type-C cable right here. We've got our right angle micro USB. We've got our Type C to right angle micro USB. We've got our mini USB to micro USB right angle. And we have a right angle micro to micro. It comes with three threaded um, flat tip screw mount thingies. All right, well, the reason I chose to go with this gimbal was because I don't you don't really need a case because this thing will lock into I don't know where this oh, right here. This thing will lock into place just like that so you can stow it away anywhere. So here's the actual gimbal itself. Let's go ahead and get rid of the styrofoam. Oh wow, so this is pretty pretty compact. I like it. It's got nice aluminum build to it. And yeah, I'm really liking this. It feels really good in the hands. Okay, so let's go ahead and start setting this up. Let's go ahead and throw, throw our tripod legs on. Bam, Weeble S, Weebles, Weebles. And I love how this has the locking arms. That way it's not all swinging and flailing around. I love that. This is really quality build. I'm really impressed with the build of this. It's got three locks? Three locks. Right here. Here's the third lock. Anyway. There we go. Let's 
just like that. All right, let's go ahead and start setting up the camera. So I'm filming with my Canon EOS M50 right now with the Sigma 16. So we're gonna go ahead and switch the top down view, which is my Samsung Note 10 Plus into the tripod. All right, so as I've mentioned, I have the Canon EOS M50 camera with the Sigma 16 millimeter f 1.4 lens. I've got my small rig attached to the camera. I've got my uh, Video Mic Go by Rode shotgun um, attached. I got the flip screen flipped out. So whether you want to do selfie mode and have it face forward or monitor mode, I'll just keep it out, you know, go back and forth and it's balanced with the screen flipped out. Okay. So as far as this plate goes, where on the threading or where on the ruler you want to have it set to, I pretty much just set a standard. I'm going to use having the back of the small rig and the back of the plate flush together. So just make sure they're flush and then screw it down. And if you, if you, look, if you take a look at the, the thread, the center, or if it's easier to, uh, the sides of the screw is sitting at 4, 48 millimeters and then 61 millimeters. I'll take a closer look. The sides of the thread, 48 and 61. That's where you want to set it. Basically, flush to the back. All right, so now we're just going to go ahead and slide it. All right, let's go ahead and lock this in. Let's go ahead and lock it in like that with just this one swinging. That way it's easier to install everything. So go ahead and slide this on like that. Pass the pin, just kind of slam it back. Now, as you can see, it's front heavy, right? So just go ahead and we're going to make it sit. So it's basically, move my whole mat here. Basically like that. Okay, now keep in mind these two latches, this latch, this locking latch, locks locks the camera in place from going back and forth. So go ahead, let's go ahead and lock that down. Pull it out. There we go. Pretty much balanced, it's a little front heavy. Move it back some. Okay, I think just by unlocking it like that, it moved back just enough. Go ahead and lock it in place. It's pretty balanced, okay. Now the other latch, this locking latch, um, if you unlock it, it moves the camera side to side. So I already have it kind of balanced as to where it's at, but if you want to take, if you want to see where everything, how everything looks, if you move it outwards, oh well, it's already kind of, oh wait, gotta unlock the arms. Okay, so now it's heavy to this side. So if you slide it this way, just keep sliding it one little by little until it's balanced like that and then go ahead and lock it into place. This is fairly easy to, to, to balance. Okay, now out of the box, I didn't actually move a little, maybe just a little bit more. I like that. Now this is all with the power off. Now when you want to when you balance this, power is off and it's basically the camera's gonna basically sit as if it's uh, on. So straight forward and and leveled out. So just like that. So as far as this ruler, this it's kind of hard to this one out of the box. It's already bottomed out back as much as you can. So if you, if you unlock this screw, it goes back and forth, right? It was already bottomed out all the way to the back and that's how we're balancing everything right now. So go ahead and tighten that back up. This arm over here, where is it at? Over here, I didn't touch that at all. It's already out of the box. It was just like that, so I didn't, I didn't touch that. So we are, we are locked back and forth. There we go. Okay. So now we're all free. Actually, no, we're not. There we go. Now we're all free on all three axes. 
three axes. So we're pretty much balanced. And like I said, if this one wasn't touched um, out of the box and it looks like it's bottomed out. If you unlock it, let's check it out. Yeah, I'm just gonna leave it like that. I'm just gonna leave it. So we're pretty much balanced. So now let's go ahead and power her up. We're on, we're balanced, good to go. Power's on, camera, let's go ahead and turn the camera on. Oop. Now, be careful, because depending on what kind of mic you have, I have this, sh this shotgun mic, so going like that, it's gonna hit, but we're gonna be going through, a di we're gonna make a different video where we go through all the different shooting modes. So if I hit, if I hold down like that, you won't hit because I'm pressing the trigger right here and putting it in follow mode. Reset, two clicks, selfie mode, three clicks, but we'll do another video on all that. Reset, there you go. All right, so there we go. We have everything balanced, powered on, on the Zion Weevil S gimbal. This thing has really strong motors. Um, like I said, it can carry a Canon RP with a telescopic lens. Oh yeah, and I went ahead and took off the thumb screw and the lens holder because with the small rig mount, oh, that's one thing I forgot to show you. Let me go ahead, power it down real quick. If you have the same setup, one thing you want to remember is with uh, the small rig, you can open up your camera com uh, your camera card in your battery compartment without it being blocked. So I have this set to it's just off center from the small rig uh, center mark. You want to you want to put thread the uh, the gimbal plate to um, one over. I don't want to take it off right now, but actually I'll go ahead and take it off for you guys. I know where everything goes now, so. so basically it is this thread hole right here. Just enough for the camera door, uh, just enough for the battery door to open up clear without the plate blocking it so you can you're gonna have to take it out of the gimbal to replace a card or a battery but yeah all right guys well that's pretty much it the Zion Weeble S and balancing the Canon EOS M50 with the Sigma 16 millimeter lens mic screen flipped out hope that helped um, if you're looking to buy this gimbal please use my Amazon affiliate link down below in the video description and I also have a link to my Amazon storefront of all the stuff I review, use, and recommend as well. So please go ahead and check that out. If you enjoyed watching this video, please go ahead and hit that like button. Leave any comments or questions down below and I'll get back to them ASAP. And please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring that notifications bell so you can be notified of future content like this. All right, guys, I'm DJ Avionics. See you guys next time.